Cafe Green Flight Challenge is like a, a dream to me. I've been lurking in the shadows of this industry for several decades, hoping that someday I might be able to participate in some way. This is a demonstration of the new technology. The technology that uh, it demonstrates is a systematic way to achieve fundamental aerodynamic efficiency. All of the major drag reduction breakthroughs of the last 100 years uh, have been under, underutilized in aircraft design. And what we're trying to do with Synergy is to use all of them in the most intelligent way that we can. At this year's Electric Aircraft Symposium, Mark Moore from NASA Langley was very taken with our concepts and with what we had in mind. And uh, the first thing he said was, who are you guys? <laughs> where, where are you from? Where is this coming from? And I, I thought that was really uh, insightful because really we are up here in the middle of nowhere. There's not a lot of infrastructure for this type of work. And so we've had to uh, come up with ways that we can do it on our own. Uh, and I've set the bar about as high as I think I possibly could, given the resources that we have. A large part of what is being capitalized on here in the design of Synergy in its debut is work that has been bought and paid for over the course of decades. I was just a kid reading these papers published by Goldschmidt and these CAFE 400 reports and uh, writings from people like John Ronks and Bert Rutan. So the result that we're seeing here is actually the culmination of decades of work and work that we don't get to take credit for. That's work that was done by many, many other people who pioneered the opportunity for us even to conceive of an original design aircraft. I'm John Paul Noyes and I am Team Synergy Green Flight Challenge Coordinator. I have a private pilot's license and um, I have a house on a runway. So whenever I need to go someplace, I open the hangar door, push the plane up, and off I go. My dad was a pilot when I was a kid, so I grew up in Alaska, sitting on the back of a dead animal behind my father. I love to fly. I'd fly anything. I'd fly a piece of plywood if that's all I had to fly. My wife, who's a non-aviator, she wants to go from point A to point B comfortably, and she doesn't want to fly in a tin can. The problem with the RV-6, or the problem with every aircraft, is the attention is 100% on the pilot and almost zero to the passenger. Synergy offers something new. It offers a faster, more roomy airplane. Synergy's got more speed than RV-6. More importantly, it's got more comfort. You sit inside Synergy, it's going to have cup holders, it's going to be roomy, it's going to have an air conditioning, it's going to be quieter. Right now, she's riding in a tin can going 200 miles an hour, and for her, it's uncomfortable. I want her in a Jeep Grand Cherokee, or I want her in a Cadillac. I want her to feel like that when she gets in an airplane. Simplifying structure is a very important element in the Synergy design, designed to be inexpensive to manufacture, uh, simple to build, and these things mean that we have less parts. There aren't any moving parts in the wing, for example. One of the uh, parts of the uh, airplane that I worked on in great detail was the nose cone section. And uh, it was kind of a unique problem because we had to integrate several other pieces and functionality within that, that component. We have uh, portals where uh, cans are, are plugged in right now that could in the future accept cameras and other electronics gear. Uh, very simple but robust integration into the part. Well, we're working in a very small space. Uh, I, I, th I love the idea of garage innovation because literally that's what we have here. This is something that is it flows from my father having put up a garage big enough to get crazy projects going in. Well, by building the quarter scale airplane uh, using the same methods, we were able to verify that uh, some of our ideas could be executed at full scale. We're using composite materials like fiberglass, carbon fiber, Kevlar, and Kevlar hybrid materials. We're using a combination of molded and moldless construction uh, these are fairly innovative techniques, but well within the capabilities of companies both inside and outside aviation to duplicate. We're building our wing molds right now, and we're also outsourcing molds for other components. Our molds are built with stacked laminations of MDF fiberboard overlaid with epoxy and fiberglass resins. We're in the middle of an upgrade to our CNC machine right now. Um, 
it ought to be able to triple its capacity and speed with increased reliability um, when we finish that upgrade. We have the Sky Ranch Airport, which is a private air park in an ideal location for Synergy flight test. It's uh, one mile north of the uh, largest freshwater lake west of the Mississippi River. And for that reason, we have a, a very large open area, unpopulated area, in which to conduct our flight test. NASA selected the CAFE Foundation to conduct the Green Flight Challenge on the basis of the work that they had been doing in comparative aircraft flight efficiency. And the prize itself, an incentive, an innovation prize, designed to shake new technologies out of the woodwork and bring something new to bear on this fundamental question of can we achieve fuel efficient flight? Especially can we achieve fuel efficient flight in a practical way? Uh, airplanes that make a difference to solving our regional transportation problems. There are lots of technologies in the world that never see the light of day because they're too expensive for small groups of people to bring to market. Um, it, the business development process is very difficult, especially for mature technologies. Innovation in, in the realm of mature technologies like aviation is not well funded by the venture capital community. It's not well funded or supported by the financial community. So what the Green Flight Challenge does is it brings a nice warm spotlight for those who have innovative technologies and want them to be brought to the public. There are companies and there are people competing in the Green Flight Challenge whose goal is not to win the challenge per se. They just want to be a part of the innovative process. They want to have the support of the world behind their innovations and it makes a perfect place for them to go to have that. Well, you know, some people think we're crazy. We actually know we are. So uh, I was advised by a friend how to eat an elephant, and that is one bite at a time. Uh, so we've got a lot of work to do, and we look forward to seeing you in July 2011.